One, two, three. One, two, three, give me. I feel like that's a song. It isn't. But anywho, right now I'm gonna try to do a handstand, which has nothing involved in this video, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You can't even see me, can you? Because I can't even get high enough, and now my hair's a mess. But my makeup is not. And today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup tutorial for beginners, or really anybody who loves makeup. So, let's go into the video. Well, we're not going to go into the video, but we're going to watch the video. <laughs> so, usually the first step of doing your makeup is primer. What I love to do is I love to prime my skin with the Mario Badesco Facial Spray Mabobber. And this fights acne, smells good, and it's super affordable. By the way, I will have everything linked down below, so if you want to go snatch it, you can easily. So after, after, <laughs> yep, after you have applied your priming water, you are gonna probably wanna wanna, ooh, gang, gang, ooh, gonna wanna go in with like some kind of like foundation or BB cream or just some substance, substance, to make your skin just, you know, look refreshed, look loomy, and it will have a little bit of coverage. The product I'm gonna be using today is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. I'm gonna be applying it with the Morphe M439 brush. And these, to the brush and the foundation together just mm. so now that you've applied this on your face you're probably gonna maybe want to conceal your under eyes I feel like everybody knows about this I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me concealer I'm just gonna dot this under my eyes and blend it in with my fingers you know the cheapest brush ever is your fingers so why not use it <laughs> now that you've applied all your like face base products you're probably gonna want to set your face I'm gonna be using the Maybelline better skin powder this has like salicylic acid in it so it literally clears up your skin I'm gonna be applying with a morphe stippling brush and I'm just gonna lightly dust the outer perimeter of my face and I always get greasy like right in between my eyebrows it's just kind of a weird place to get greasy but that's where I always get greasy what is this my hair does not look like this now that you've set your face you're probably gonna want to go in with a bronzer don't these two look the same? Okay, I discovered it a few weeks ago and I like love it and I want everybody to know it. So, let's say you find your favorite Holy Grail powder and you're wanting to find your favorite Holy Grail bronzer, look no further than a darker shade of your powder. And that can be your bronzer. Somehow it like makes your skin uh, like a natural bronze because it's like a face powder. I don't, I don't know the substance of magic, but I'm gonna put this on the outer perimeter of my face. Doesn't it just... Doesn't it look like a natural bronze? Now, blush time. So most of you found your holy grail there, foundation, powder, bronzer, and you don't really need anything more than your holy grails of those products, but blush, there are so many different colors. There's like pinks, reds, peaches, berries, mauves. There's so many colors of blush, and you wanna try them all out, but it's kinda of not affordable to do that, even at the drugstore. What I love to buy is blush palettes. This one is from Morphe, and I am going to just apply it with a like stippling motion on the outer apples, the outer apples. I like that. Doesn't that just add so much? This needs a dramatic entrance. The da 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 love it needs that dramatic of an entrance. Next up is my favorite step, highlight. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Boozy Bronze. It has like golden tones, it has champagne tones, pink tones, bronze tones. Honestly, if you like any highlight, you will love this. And I'm gonna be applying it on my, on my, with my Morphe M510 brush. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Oh, my name is Glow, because I'm glowing from the gods. Like, now that we've applied all the base face products, I'm gonna be, just going in with a clear brow, brow brow from NYX. You can fill your eyebrows in with like a pomade or something, but I have naturally filled in eyebrows. I didn't tattoo them when I was younger. I just have filled in eyebrows. Okay, okay, hopefully I'm making some sense. Both. So that adds volume to your eyebrows. I'm talking like hair, like it adds volume to your hair. Length, gloss, separation, but it's for your eyebrows. I love this. So eyeshadow. Look no further than your amazing highlight from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to be dipping it into the more bronzy golden shades and then just applying it to my lid. It like kind of ties together the highlight and it brings it to your eyes. It just ties everything together. Next step, mascara. I feel like everybody knows how to do this. I'm going to curl the eyelashes and of course apply mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Tur <laughs> Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. 
Are you seeing this? It literally almost got my shirt completely covered in mascara. That was the closest call ever. So, now that we've applied mascara, mascara, time for lipstick. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is from NYX, and it is in the shade Beach Casual, which is kind of like this look. I'm just going to apply the lipstick like I usually would. And we have the lipstick on. I like, doesn't this like just look beach casual? I just love this look so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this drugstore makeup tutorial. By the way, I have all I have all of my social media in the description box. I have a vlog channel. I'll be linked down below. Thanks for watching. Huggy Huggies.